In this week's episode of Plugging With The Pros, we're joined by Morgoth Beats, producer for Juice World, Machine Gun Kelly, and Kid Cudi, to name a few. Not only has he been nominated for a Grammy, but today he's going to be taking us through his session for metal band Left To Suffer. Ever wondered what plugins the pros use? Well, you're about to find out. Morgoth, welcome to Boombox. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for having me. Thanks so much for joining us. We really appreciate you being here. We'd love for you to start off by playing a little bit of the track that we're going to be listening to today and tell me a little bit about it. So this is a new song that just came out by the band Left to Suffer that I produced. And this is the writing session for the song. So I thought it might be cool to show you like, uh, you know, where the song was in terms of like creatively putting it together, you know, and then obviously more mixing got done to it later. But uh, this is like how we wrote it. This is the instrumental. Amazing sounding track, man. Please tell us a little bit about what you chose for your Desert Island plugin. So I'm picking RC20. I know it's kind of like a trendy plugin now, but I use it a lot. I don't know. I just feel like I get the most out of it. There's a specific setting on it that is like kind of just like to me the perfect like lush guitar kind of vibe where it has like that almost like Pink Floydy kind of thing to it and i just apply that in a lot of places because it adds like a really cool atmosphere to it so this is it on drums Did you have any other Desert Island plugins? I guess another Desert Island plugin would be, for me, it would definitely be the uh, Easy Mix. It does like everything. It's basically just like a super simple, like two knob plugin from Tune Track. But there's all these like guitar amp expansions on it and stuff that sound really good. Because it's so like versatile, I use it on a lot of different stuff. <laughs> Then another instance of using it is over here when we're writing drums. So this is Superior Drummer, and he we played all this on the E-Kit that's behind me. I also am using it for parallel compression on the drums too, and this probably makes the biggest difference. Adds and enhances the character that's already there, but way more than I've ever heard any other plugin do. Yeah, that's it's like just a little thing I stumbled across. You know, they like gave me the plugin and I just ended up using it. And now I just kind of, it's kind of like my workhorse thing. I use it a lot. So let's move on to your workhorse plugins now. These are the plugins that you find are the most utilitarian that show up and get the most use in your projects, but not in a creative way. I mean, I could just say something basic like my channel EQ, 100%. Is the basic logic channel EQ is on almost everything I do. It keeps my low end in control, which I guess is really important because if I take it off on all this, probably it would just be like mud city. So it's definitely a workhorse. Another one would probably be, this is another weird one, but uh, probably sausage fattener. I use this thing a lot. It's great on bass and guitar. What I love about your process and, and what I've learned so far is that you don't necessarily use genre specific plugins. Most people would consider this Osh Fatner for from Dada Life to be a sort of dance music 
plugin. You're just saying, hey, I, I like the tone of this. Why don't I put it on a bass guitar? It feels like you have a similar approach with RC20. And I hope that inspires our viewers right now to realize that you can use plugins that are designed for one thing, for a completely different sound if you want to get creative. Yeah, totally. And then when you when you make a lot of different genres, you know, uh, kind of like I do, things just kind of cross over, you know, you I learned about RC20 and Sasha's Fatner and stuff from doing hip hop and pop and stuff. But you know, I applied it to when I do rock and metal and stuff like that. Plugin doesn't care what genre it's on. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. I think that's a mindset that some of us can easily get get caught up in. Yeah, even with like sausage fattener, you know, like on guitars, like heavy guitars, it's like really not a common thing to do, but it sounds awesome. Like Morgoth, these are some amazing plugins and techniques. Really appreciate you sharing them with us. But just remember that these videos are possible because of boombox.io. If you're looking to share, store and synergize your creativity and find the easiest way to collaborate with other musicians around the world, Go to the link in the description below and sign up today for free. Boombox is amazing for storing your files, leaving timestamp comments in text or voice notes, and you even get four gigabytes for free. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Let's get back to the plugins. Let's do, so we did two workhorse plugins and then we could do a special plugin honorable mention. And you could just do one for this if you like, because this has been amazing so far. There's so much, um, so many gems that you're dropping. Yeah. Yeah, so this is a really fun creative plugin for me and especially in a song like this uh we really wanted there to be a lot of glitchy elements and lots of like weird noises and stuff uh kind of to have like a new metal thing but also kind of cross into just to add to the intensity so i use glitch too a lot um so this is a little lead part that's underneath one of these breakdowns Yeah, so it's adding a little bum, 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 wow, bum, 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 wow, bum, 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 wow thing, you know, and uh, that's just a one cool little instance where it really does a lot. And, you know, you can just kind of draw in your own. Um, it has all these parameters that, you know, tape stop like gate, which adds like this little uh, stutter edit, you know, like a reverse. Like so it adds like just cool creative elements to your audio. And <laughs> Kind of like concludes the phrase of the end of the of the bar and then gets you interested to roll back into the next one by breaking it up a bit. Yeah. And then when I take it off, you know, it's just it just, I don't know, it just doesn't it's not as interesting to me. It's like the goal is like sound design in this case. You know, it's not so much like I'm trying to capture a, a vibe, the vibe of the band or like the band jamming in a room. We're trying to create like an atmosphere. Yeah, it may, and it makes the genre more contemporary as well through the sound design. Exactly, yeah. On stuff like risers, you know, like this part. That was a vocal, like that was, that's a vocal, you know, normally. So when I take it off. So it's literally like a line that I just cut out. And I don't think actually like we ended up being in the song, but I thought it sounded cool. So and then when you hear it in context with everything. It's just a cool little uh, ear candy. I think this is a great reminder for myself and hopefully everyone watching that you can take a stock sound or a sample and just by adding a creative effect like glitch to turn it into something completely different that's unique to you and your track. Yeah, I live by that. I will force a square peg into a round hole like a million times over by just adding effect based plugins to try and make a sound not sound like it originally did, you know, to make it work in a scenario before I give up on it. You're definitely showing us that you're the master at that through this session. <laughs> you know, an another good one I use a lot too is this Andy Sneep plugin is pretty great. This guy, Parallel Particles, I on guitar is really... Is it the, is it Andrew Shapps? Andrew Shapps, yeah, sorry. Yeah. I always say his name wrong. That's all good. <laughs> I was like, I haven't heard of Andy Sneep. Where have I yeah, been? my bad. <laughs> I always say his name. Well, I love your plug in either way. <laughs> I 
Morgoth, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me. This was great. If you'd like to know more about Morgoth and all his incredible work, all the links are in the description below. Don't forget to sign up to Boobox, like this video, and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you very soon. Peace.